actually, I wonder, they might offlane the Alchemist into the Pudge lane. Oh, the nice two hero curse. Mickey gonna get caught by the tag team. Not a lot of armor on Pudge. Not historically known for having that. And they will just slowly give the first button over to Alk and using out on some of the bounty runes, but Alk doesn't have that Grievous Creed anyway, so not the end of the world. was not yours. <laughs> Denied! Yeah. Mid lane, we're gonna have Dark Mago up. Ooh, bottom lane, they get the Frostbite in the hook. Always a classic. So this is something that is a little bit scary. In top lane, Silencer just being dove underneath the tower here by Boxy. He tries to double tree. A little bit of a trade, but I mean, definitely favorable here is Sacred gets the solo kill on Tamike. Does not have to split the XP. Meanwhile, mid, ooh, Dark Mago, nice dodge on the Remnant, but taking a lot of damage still from Nisha. And there's the Blink Strike in from Boxy, is they will be able to run him down. New the Ricky really? getting super active already this. Eh, may sometimes you hook your own creep, is bottom lane. They're gonna turn it around. They get the kill onto that Crystal Maiden. Is now Mickey trying to make his way under the tower, and he's gonna be fine with the stick. But top lane, you get a kill onto Alk once again, and Stinger getting ran down here to the tower. Does have impetus, trying to chase for Stinger. And Boxy looks like he's gonna give up his life once again, happily for that one. And mid lane, some more aggression coming through as the slide of fist does connect, but Nisha does connect onto the remnant, and the high ground comes through. It gets Dyer's top tower has fallen. This time. Top lane, or bottom lane rather, Nisha TP's in. Man, dude, Alf had a full like stack and a half of creeps and had to back off because Boxy showed up and left them all at like almost no HP. They have the chains on on the storm spirit. I really doubt it. I mean, maybe they can, but the silence is there. And Sania just gets dove instead. So, do you manage to find some? Touche. Dark Mega mid. In some trouble. Yeah, he's gonna get picked off once again. Just, I think just a. Zap. Oh, nice look from Mickey. Mortimer kisses are coming through, and with the rotation in from Dark Mago as well, they will find that kill. The question is, can they get out? Moxie rotating in. Schofield's gonna help find him. He gets that link strike out down to the low ground. He's gonna be fine, but Dark Mago looking to chase. The cookie on forward does trap Insania. They will look for the Crystal Maiden, and Dark Mago gets the slight chains on Denisha. I don't think he can get to the rune in time. The shark block, he gets over the wall. He's gonna be safe. Very close there. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Dyer's top tower is. Hook comes through, does at least pull Schofield out of the way, and Cookie over to the far side will stop Mickey as he try and just turn around, bring down this Pudge, and a nice smoke screen in from Boxy. Might allow Mickey to get out. Nah, no, slight chase ends up catching too. Instead, in comes the Storm Spirit. Nisha, beautifully done, will be able to find Sacred, but can he get the kill? He does. Trades the very end. Snowball comes on through. The Walrus Punch is there. Can they get insane? It's so close, but not enough. Nice rotation in from the storm, helping salvage that seam fight. Rape. Looking for Zai. 
huge kill here. The Mortimer Kisses do get cancelled onto the backside. They do have the damage, and Nisha needs to be careful. Does not have a, an illusion room to play with? Oh, a beautiful freezing field in from Insania. Can they cancel it? It's going to be the Alchemist that finally does. His Dark Mago needs to get out of here. And Boxy, he's still hunting. They drop the sentry. Can he survive? The snowball's going to buy him the space, and he's out. Boxy. Gets punished for that one. A beautiful hold. By Nisha would be huge. The global silence is there, and that's a girl closer and closer to that BKB, which is absolutely essential now that he does have that orchid. But the evasion does go a long way as well, so this might keep uh, keep him alive in the next you know, engagement. Dark comes out mid lane. He ends up getting the invis off of the smoke screen, preventing the snowball. Scofield trying to find an opening, but he just can't. The freezing field just destroying them. Stinger gonna try and TP on out. He should be able to. As Boxy. He's got another dart. They find the snap fire. No hook for another nine seconds, but he's just got to make his way under the tower. It does connect into a nice dismember. They're going to buy back into the snowball. They might be able to turn this around on the Vicky, but it's just too damn tanky. They've got way too much damage coming out from Zai. Yep. The drop the center of science comes out of the mid lane on the tuck to try to cook him away. The global science is there to turn it. Maybe they can get the kill onto Nisha. So Walrus Punch is there. Plenty of damage inside. This is the big boy. If they can find it, he just kills Stinger. <laughs> he just doesn't care. The Mortimer Kisses should help clean up the Enchantress, but. My goodness, Zai just giga chatting up this game. Insania will get dove here. Alchemist finds that kill. Finally, Beast Coast finding an opening as the dust is still here onto Boxy. Do they have the damage? It looks like it. Okay, it ends up being. Sacred's been hooked. Beautiful play there from Mickey. They just smoke immediately. They look top as Enchantress in some trouble. Schofield walks in, gets the Walrus Punch, but ends up just dying to the summons. And finally, here comes the Alk. It eventually helps burn him down. Stinger gets the kill. Awarded with a little bit of intellect as well. But in comes Liquid. They're looking for the Alk. He's got a BKB to play with. The slight chains are there. As they might turn around on Tanisha and Stain Sadia. He's to be very careful as Mickey comes in, gets the rod, just bursts down this Ember Spirit. As Sadia will channel that freezing fill. They blink away. It's going to be a big win from Liquid. Managed to secure TP'd in to maybe try and find a, a cheeky play there on Denisha. Zip. Top lane. They've got Dark Mago for sure. That is just way too much damage coming out from the inch. They even popped the Global Sciences mid lane. They jumped onto Sacred as well. He's already popped the Guardians and Nisha. They'll just jump on through. The out goes bottom. Liquid collapses all on top of East Coast. Is it going to be four now? It's a beautiful hook from Mickey. Finds the Tusk as well. Huge wins. Is Now that's just going to lead right into that Roshan. <laughs> Absolutely. And Liquid, again, just smoking up, wanting to get active. They're going to find Stinger on the backside. Is beautiful ward scouting that one out. The BKB comes out from the Ember Spirit. Scofield will be able to save him with a nice snowball. It's insane. He's channeling that freezing kill. Dark Mago should be able to help find a kill. Look, one Huge shot on the three. The cookie connects as well. They're gone, baby. A massive play there from the Alkas. Now they've just got to find the storm. Nisha has his BKB. Going to be forced to use it to escape. So... Nicely done there from Beast Coast. Nisha has a few moments left here. Zai has to run as well. K1 unable to chase. They have Schofield with the self stun. In some trouble here. Orchid will catch. Snapfire. Perfect lane. Orchid. Oh, okay. We're fine. Uh, another concoction thrown ends up finding the Storm Spirit. The Abyssal Blade is there, but there's no follow-up. And on the other side of the fight, they cap 
Sacred, that's the big opening. He's gonna buy back into this game. It's a trade as the Ricky will die and Stinger. Pops to global silence now as the BKBs have already been spent. This could give them a moment, but the pike damage. Dark Mago can't dodge it out. A huge win for Zai as Stinger just isolated out. Alchemist starting to burn down here, trying to finish off the storm. The Mortimer Kisses will help him do it as he gets the blink to safety. Buybacks galore. Four spent in this fight as they've got to look for more. Dark once again to buy some space. Mick gets the hook, finds Sacred instead. That's gonna be a dieback. The freezing field is there. Not what you want. The snowball on through. K1 needs to get out. The damage here from this Enchantress is way too much and it's not gonna work. The buyback this time from Nisha leads into some more kills as now Dark Mago has to get out. You got no remnants left at Boxy though. Finds him with the dark, the hook into the perfect time dismember, and that is it, man. Ibax on two core. Radiant are scanning. It's a really good intercept here if they can manage to find anything. The scan is off the mark, but Dark Mago, he might get caught here. They just blink this member up the silencer, no one to save him as Schofield gets caught as well. He's gonna be able to try and find Dark Mago. The BKB comes out, he gets the remnants up to the high ground, so he's gonna be fine, and Schofield, not gonna be as lucky. This is, a, of course, just really good rotations from Liquid. They have that newly... Okay, one in trouble. Gets hooked up, dismembered again. He gets the BKB actually instead. The question is, can he actually get out of here? He's gonna continue to get chased through these trees. He gets stunned up as the Orchid comes out from Zai. They've caught Silencer as well. They do not stop the Arcane Rune giving Nisha so much mobile. Connecting on a boxy, unfortunately, as they're looking for Schofield, but Invis will protect them. Super aggressive blink up onto the high ground and behind the tower, they're looking for Schofield. It will just be a trade for the supports, but okay, goes in, finds Dark Mago, gets to dismember. The global science comes through. K1 trying to just take run onto this pledge, a reflected abyssal blade. He's got a BKB, but he doesn't. He never gets it off. Dark Mago on the backside trying to kill Insania, but he's just too tanky. Aww. He's got that shard protecting him as he continues to channel that freezing field, and another science comes through from Zai, just burns right through Dark Mago, and it's Mikke crushing these heroes up onto the high ground. The GG comes out, and that is going to be a nice win for Liquid. Reminding everyone why they are number one in the groups. Victory.